Hey guys, Bridge here, and in this video we're going to create some model UI components in Figma. Now this is part of a video in which we're creating this entire design system from scratch, and feel free to check out the previous episodes in the playlist, but you can also follow along just this one video if you're interested in just the models. So the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to use this boiler template in order to create the models and uh, we're going to essentially create them uh, first hand directly from here. So the very first uh, element that uh, we want to pretty much start adding is a rectangle. So I'm going to select the artboard and I'm going to unhide the uh, grid, which was hidden. And we're going to essentially go ahead and uh, um, start uh, creating a basic model. I'm going to just add it right here. I'm also going to deep select uh, this rectangle and I'm going to use option command C and option command V in order to copy and paste the style. So here we have our basic style. I'm also going to copy the text layer from uh, one of these components and uh, as you can see, we have our basic uh, text layer here. I'm going to duplicate it. And uh, I'm going to leverage one of the headings which we created in uh, the previous, uh, um, basically, um, episodes here in the design system. So as you can see, we have these different textiles. Probably let's try something around the uh, last headings. So I'm going to go back into UI component and I'm going to let me try a heading uh, four, and uh, here we go. All right, I'm going to write, this is the heading of this model, and I'm going to center it uh, right here. All right, I'm also going to start adding some uh, text. So I have this, uh, software called a text, which essentially enables me to create uh, shortcuts of a uh, text. And I have this one for Lipsum, but you can simply go on the Lipsum uh, website uh, directly. So even just uh, um, going something like uh, here on Safari, Lipsum.com, oops, here we go. As you can see, you, you have uh, a lot of uh, lorem ipsum text, which you can simply copy and paste. Pretty straightforward. And uh, over here, since I just pasted this uh, using uh, um, a text layer <laughs> with uh, no styling, I'll need to just resize all of this. An alternative way that you can do it is simply uh, selecting here this option, fixed size, which the moment you resize it, it's going to um, essentially make it selected and you can uh, simply uh, select the width that you want. So here we go. Let's, uh, let's center this. I'm going to add uh, just a little bit of padding in between and we can actually leverage the, um, the paragraph styles, which we created previously. So you can go with uh, the regular and I'm probably going to want to add a little bit of more padding in between. So, or actually the um, line height, I might, as, um, I might have said. So in this case, what we're gonna do is we're also going to adjust uh, this textile. So, and basically what I can do is to go here under the edit style and uh, I'm going to simply add a little bit of more uh, padding in between or line height, <laughs> I keep saying padding for whatever reason. Um, and now if you go back into the UI components, um, we're going to basically see also this option. So 16, this is the one that which I selected. And uh, I'm just going to quickly adjust also the other ones <clears throat> for the sake of uh, um, conveniency. So this one, and also, oops, this one right here. And here we go. So we have our nice uh, uh, paragraph text right here. 
And what we're gonna do next is we're also going to add uh, a button since uh, we already created one uh, or actually multiple ones in uh, the previous videos. And as you can see, we can now just select uh, uh, the size very quickly. We can, uh, we're also going to duplicate this, this button and we're probably going to add uh, also another one, which might be the white one or, or the blue one. And um, yeah, overall, I think uh, it's looking good. Uh, for whatever reason, the baby blue is just showing uh, like this, but that's fine. Let's uh, just uh, uh, center all of this. But before I do that, I'm going to group this so that the buttons aren't going to collide with uh, each other. And um, yeah, I think we are pretty much uh, set uh, and uh, good to go in those regards. Now I'm going to group all of this, I'm going to center it, bring it up, bring uh, this one up uh, again, and uh, I'm also going to search for a close icon so that we can easily close uh, this uh, model directly from here. I'm going to use uh, Maybe not this gray, but one which is just a little bit lighter than that. All right, so far, so good. We're definitely heading uh, in the right direction here. And I'm probably going to swap uh, these uh, these two buttons. So let's just select them. For the reason the <laughs> The option to swap them is it's not available, usually it always is. So let's just do it manually. It's going to take no time, so that's that's fine. Alright, and uh, let's write here learn more. Here we're going to write continue. Alright. Let's select this. Let's center it, and uh, we are pretty much set uh, and good to go with uh, the very first model. So, so far, so good. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to group all of this together, turn it into a component, and uh, call it model. Now that we have it uh, in a component, we can uh, just create a, vari a variant. As you can see, we're going to be able to, to create the different variants uh, of uh, this uh, component. So first one is going to be one with just a single button. And you're going to see different variants um, how we're going to name them and all that in just a second. But for the time being, uh, I think uh, this is working pretty well. Um, let's also create uh, another smaller version of this model. So something around these lines, just three, just three columns wide. And we're going to add it here, but as, as you can see, we cannot uh, simply add it as it is right now. We're going to basically need to duplicate this and uh, kind of like um, figure out the size, which is 310. And I'm going to select 310 right there as well. And let's center this, center this one as well, and this one too. All right, so far so good. And uh, now a thing which uh, I'm not saying is that this is already is still 310, so I'm just going to shrink it. And here we go. All right, 
So we're definitely heading in the right direction. I'm going to select this, learn more. And I'm going to center all of this. Perfect. Now we're going to create another <coughs> variation of this. And uh, it's going to contain an icon. So let's duplicate these ones. And what we're going to do is we're going to, well, first of all, increase the size of this model variant section. I'm going to increase the size or the height of these two elements as well. Bring them down. And the very next thing is we're going to leverage, in this case, Nucleo icons, since I want a colored icon. Hmm. Hmm. Let's figure out uh, something with, with the exclamation mark. Yep, this should do. And let's add uh, this element uh, right here. Okay, cool. So far, so good. Let's uh, add it here as well. Just double check that it's uh, aligned. Yeah, it is. And uh, we're pretty much uh, <coughs> good to go. All right. So we have uh, our third uh, uh, type of, of model. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to change the properties of uh, all of these models in a way that uh, it's going to basically make sense whenever we are um, selecting them. So increase this one and uh, property one is going to be type. Um, here we're going to say two buttons. And then we're going to add the comma and we're going to make size regular. And basically what this does uh, is uh, it essentially says to Figma, hey, we're going to have two properties. The first one is going to be um, that there's two buttons. Second one is going to be the size, which we're going to see in just a moment once I click on enter. So as you can see, type, I have these, uh, these two buttons and now the size is regular. Now, the moment we start adding more types and more sizes, you're going to see them all in the dropdown. So for example, if I go here and add and copy and paste what we just did, but add the, the small size, you're going to see that I can now switch between regular and uh, or actually <laughs> between regular and small you, you're going to see all of this in action in just a moment but for the time being uh, let's just uh, uh, keep it simple let's uh, just add all of the other layer uh, names so type one button size regular type one button size small type one one button plus icon, size regular, and uh, size small for this one. All right, so far so, so good. Now, if I go over here and uh, I remove the layout grid, I go under assets, close all this, <clears throat> and I select uh, the model. You're going to see that I can now select between uh, the different type of models and the different type of sizes of these models. So pretty simple, pretty effective. <clears throat> and um, yeah, it's pretty much it uh, <clears throat> when it comes to models. I want to remind you that I recently launched a free course on how to get started in UI UX design. If you're interested in that topic, feel free to, to check the link in the description. And uh, I'll see you in the very next video.